So today we're going to delve further into the Sims fuel injector pump and we're going to look at something that does have to get changed every now and then and that's the diaphragm in the pneumatic governor. Uh, so we'll delve right into it. First up you have to remove the two governor pipes from the top here, disconnect those and you can do this while the pump is still attached to the tractor. No need to take it off at this stage. So undo the two pipes. Then there's four bolts, two at the top, two at the bottom on this housing here. Um, I've taken them off already and this is going to speed things up. Now you've got to loosen it out a little bit. Now there is a yoke in there that is holding the diaphragm guide. So when you pull out a little bit, you have to move it up. Move out. A little bit of practice. Let's give that. So there's the notch in the diaphragm guide that connects into the yoke. We'll put that aside. That's the bit we're going to play with. And there you can see the yoke that moves that diaphragm guide. So as I push the rail, and you see here, That's moving the yoke. So you can see there, all timed, moves that diaphragm in and out. So, moving on. Here is our diaphragm assembly. Who's our diaphragm got? Now, if we push that, hear that. Airflow. So this one's got pretty good seal still. You can see it just inside there, but let's get into it. All right, so we've got a spring ring just inside here. Now, I suggest with two fingers you hold this because there is a little bit of tension on the spring. Not too much that's going to fly out, but enough to catch you unawares. Spring ring gently out. Off to the side. Now the disc comes off. As you see, the spring's trying to push it all out. Disc off. Come from the spring. Right there. Off. Now we've got our guide. We've got our damping valve down here and here's our diaphragm in here so a rubber part can perish can put you know governor out of whack readily available yeah. I've had a great life if you're rebuilding one I suggest you replace this straight up now I have loosened some parts already to speed up the video so hopefully the guide there we go comes straight off Okay, now another nut in here that I've pre-loosened. Let's connect to the damping valve. And then we've got a few discs. Top disc off. Damping valve. And the spring locating plate, as you can see there, holds the spring nicely. And there is your diaphragm. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Sims, part number, original. You know, that's up here. You know, nice and rubbery still. Down here, starting to get brittle. So a bit of a telltale that some fuel was sitting in it for a long period of time. Fuel got to it. Um, yeah, just starting to, to get too brittle for what we need. And then you do the reverse to put it all back together. Won't take long, so in damping valve plate bolt there again. Finger tight, 
for the demonstration. Yeah, so I'll probably forget something here. Like I did last time. Alright. Yep. Go right in there. Now comes the fun part. There. Spring in there. Spring guy. Now you're going to want to have that balanced. Alright. Wash up. Then our spring ring. This could be a two person job, but we'll see how we go. Oh, look at that in. Then we bring our pump back over again. Make sure we line up the yoke. And then we Rebolt it. Very simple operation. Can be done on the tractor. That's why uh, it's a common thing to replace. Make it easier. Do it on the tractor. Um, you can hear it there working there. That is how you replace the diaphragm on the uh, pneumatic governor on a Sims fuel injection pump for a Ford to major tractor. Okay, um, till the next one, I've got a few things lined up. I've got to look at the belt pulley. I've got to look at um, the different types of rear wheels, cast steel, things like that. So a few videos lined up. We'll try and get some uh, Fordson in action videos. I've got a bit of gardening to do coming up. Always handy to have a Fordson doing that. Till the next one. Thank you.